Hey you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at fixing the Windows 10 activation error. And I'll show you what the error code is. So click on Start and then Settings. I'm going to go into Update and Security and then Activation. Now the error code we're getting here, as you can see, is, is up the top there. So first off, I want you to click on Troubleshoot. Now a lot of uh, people uh, end up with counterfeit copies of uh, Windows and stuff like that so I wanted to go through this with you so you can click here you can see it's asking you to go to the store and you can see it's not able to activate our product and you can see I changed hardware on this device recently click on go to store and uh, when you go there it's going to give you a bunch of links that you can check out uh, so first off we're going to look at the information at the bottom there before we purchase a license we're going to take a look at the customer support area now once you click on customer support it's going to give you a bunch of links that you can click on that's going to give you all the information uh, that you need about genuine windows now obviously uh, there's a load of counterfeit versions out there and there's loads of websites selling license keys and you have to be careful uh, because some of these are not genuine and you're going to end up uh, losing your uh, license activation uh, at some point when you uh, get found out so if you look here we have loads of links here how to activate a genuine uh, windows connected and you can see here add one oh if my, i'm running a genuine copy of windows also the most common reasons why windows might fail to uh, have a validation or activation you can see one license equals one pc counterfeit software and repairs and stuff like that you can see loads of different stuff what is a validation uh, how do i report counterfeit software and there's loads of links inside here that's going to help you also how do i get additional support uh, with windows activation so you've got a few links uh, here that you can click on get help with activation errors this is going to give you all the error codes and what they stand for and what they mean and there's a bunch of links here that you can check out you can see the top one is the error code that we're receiving uh, for this machine and i'll show you a fix for this in a second which sometimes uh, fixes the issue that you may be having okay so you can see here there is a ton of error codes uh, which are all related to activation here so uh, you can see the list is pretty extensive and any one of these will uh, relate to a certain issue some of them will be fixed with the way i'm going to show you and we'll take a look at fixing that in a second but i just want to go through this with you just in case you have bought a license key online and you're not sure if it's a genuine uh, copy and this is how you can basically uh, check it out so what we're going to do next is uh, take a look at how we can uh, resolve this issue so i'm going to go to start and then settings and then click on the update and security and you can see activation click on this and you'll see it won't activate because we're going to be getting uh, the error code that we was talking about um, recently so we're going to let windows try to activate our license key and you can see it working away at the top and you'll see the error code is here right up the top here and this is the error code that we're looking at so what you want to try and do here is use one of these default license keys now these are not pirated license keys these are default uh, product keys that you can use uh, just to do here is use one of these and click on uh, the activation button here so once we click on that we're going to put the product key in now this is the default product key for uh, Windows Pro there is a, uh, other license keys there you can use if you're using a different version of Windows 10 so we'll just quickly type this in I'm not going to bore you with the typing process but this is the license key that we're going to use here click on next and you'll see it's going to try to activate when we click next now it's not going to be successful here it's going to fail but that's okay we'll just let it try to activate and then you'll get the error message again and then we're going to change the product key again and put in our proper legitimate product key that we have on the computer or which we purchased so now we're going to click close here your activation error may be different to this one so click on change product key again click yes and now we need to put in our product key inside here okay I'm going to blur mine out because this is my legitimate product key click next 
and we'll just let that run and we should get an activation here and once that's been activated we should be pretty much good to go and it's a pretty simple fix for that particular type of error code but I just wanted to make sure that you understood that some of these may not be legitimate and you can see here we are now running a genuine uh, version of Windows. Windows has been activated. Now if you do still have some issues you can always contact Microsoft directly and they will try to activate it for you using their support page. Okay. Anyway, so I hope this one has been helpful to you guys. Remember you don't need to purchase a product key if you've got a legitimate key. Okay. You only purchase another product key if you're using a pirated version. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.